So Dave, with this vehicle, we've got the tow, the camber, the caster, and even the thrust angle all in the green. Right. What are the next steps before we roll it out of the bay? On this particular one, it's uh, mandatory, it's uh, vehicle specific uh, to reset the steering angle sensor uh, uh, part of the alignment process itself. Okay. This can be due to EPS or electronic stability control and some ADAS functions also. Okay. Our, our database has vehicle specific information. Uh, they reset differently from vehicle to vehicle and will give you a step by step process to reset the steering angle sensor. So I didn't change the tow bike that much. Do I really need to be doing mm -hmm. this? Well, for everything to work and work properly, yes you do. Okay. If you adjust rear tow, we did. If you adjust front tow, we did. They're going to change the output of the steering angle sensor. Okay. So because of that, we need to reset the steering angle sensor. Let's plug this in and see what it does. All right. Turn the key to the run position. Press K4 continue. Okay, I need to straighten out the wheel. Yes, give me a steer ahead of zero. On the right hand side, you're seeing the actual output of the steering angle sensor. Okay. All right. Press so K zero. Yep. K4 continue. Okay. okay. It's come back now. Once you turn the ignition switch off, count to five and turn the ignition switch back on. Okay. okay. K4 continue. Do a final read. Okay, turn the ignition switch off and disconnect the scan tool. Okay. All right, now we can actually print the report also. And this will not only tell me, but the customer. Yes. The steering angle sensor has been reset. That is correct. It'll give you the before and the after value. That's a real value to the customer. Sure. And it's also, for due to liability, it was reset and reset correctly. Well, thank you, Dave. This has been great information for everything that should be done after you get all the angles right. My pleasure.